Hello, friends, and welcome to Body Electric. I'm Margaret Richard, your host, along with Heidi. And if you think you've worked out with us before, well, think again, because today is fabulous. <laughs> We're going to work the back, the triceps, the obliques, the inner thighs, and the calves. And for today's workout, I'd like you to have a few different sets of weights uh, depending on your mood and your uh, fitness level today and what exercise we're doing. And I'd also like you to have a small piece of paper, particularly if you're on a carpeted surface, and uh, you'll see why in just a very few minutes. So we're going to begin, of course, with a warm-up to get the body and mind ready for the workout, and then we'll cool down together. So friends, here we go. Standing with the feet about shoulder width apart, shoulders down, abdomen in, head held high. We're going to begin with one arm behind the head. So it's back, front, and down. Other arm behind the head, and front, and down. And now let's bring the arms down. A few more times. One more each side. Open the back. And up. Let's use the head, ear to the shoulder. Once more each side. And let's roll the shoulders all the way back and front. As we did in the beginning, back, front, and down. Other side and front. Now just the arms on the side. And let's lunge. The back is flat. You want to keep your weight over the heel. The shoulders are facing me. And reach with the arm, the opposite arm and leg. And change. And reach. Just a few sides to side. And up. All the way down, flat back, abdomen in, last time. Now we're going to roll up, and let's step one foot in front of the other, press the back heel down, and reach. Lift the front toe, and other leg, reach, and back. Lift the toe, let's bring the feet together and roll up. Bring the arms overhead. And we're warmed up and we are ready to begin our workout by working the back. So I want you to use weights that challenge you enough but still allow you a full range of motion. So you can always start a little heavier and then lighten up. I think I'm going to start with the fives. Heidi, what do you think? Heidi said, well, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stand to the side a little so you can see the progression here. So we're going to start with the knees bent, the back is flat, and we're going to start from the bottom. Squeeze the shoulder blades and down. Relax the hand. Now lifting the abdomen. 
The weight is basically in the heels. And shoulder blades. Now, if you find that you can't lift the arms very high, then use lighter weights. And again, two more. And one more. Let's bring the weights up and back and down. So you're keeping the weights close to your body, keeping the elbows high as you pull to the back. Up and squeeze. Under the chin, elbows high and squeeze. Up. Breathe out on the lift, that's the exertion. Now just up and down, slowly, middle, up, and down. Pressing the shoulders down, lifting the elbows high with the weights right under the chin. Up, squeeze. Okay, now we're going to change back. Up and squeeze. The abdomen is in. Head held high. Here we go. And down. Bend the knees. Up for two. Up and up. Relax the fingers. Okay, let's stay at the bottom. Turn the palms towards your body and bend the elbows and down. Still in the flat back position. Now the same thing with the palms facing in. If it's happy, you do that extra little, uh, that little squeeze. Okay, stand up. Up, back, and down. Up and back. Stay close to the body. Last time. Okay, now let's lean over and let the weights help us to stretch the muscles long. Do the elephant. Do the elephant. Imagine we started a whole fed and everybody was doing the elephant. You think it could happen? I do. I think we could do the elephant. I, it, it just feels right to me. And you know what? You look so good doing it. It just, it's great. Now we're going to um, work the triceps, the back of the arm. and. Uh, we're going to use one arm at a time, one weight at a time, so I think I'll use the fives. Okay, here's the movement. You want to have, brace the elbow right next to your head with the opposite arm, and we're going to take it to the opposite shoulder and then extend to the opposite shoulder and extend. Now, just, you can just let the weights kind of hang between a few fingers. You don't have to do the death grip. Wouldn't it be terrible if the elephants had a dance called Do the Margaret? Down and lift. Tapping the other shoulder. Or what if they had a dance called Do the Heidi? Or <laughs> that it might be a little. I oh, might be pushing it a little. Down for two. Up and up. Okay, I'll give it a rest. Tap, tap the shoulder and up. And let's change to the other hand. So again, you want to brace with the palm facing, facing down, down, middle, and up.
check your back, make sure your knees are bent. And let's take it down for two. Up. And up. When the arm is bent, the triceps are extended, they're long. And when the arm is extended, the triceps are short. So again, we're taking it through a full range of motion. Just a few. And up. Okay. Let's put the weights down. I should say, let's put the weight down. And be sure to stretch the muscle back to its resting length, pushing the shoulders down. Let's do this. Uh, even the stretches, I want you to do the perfect form. So with the resistance in the shoulders, bring the middle of the elbow to the front of the body and the other side. Because it's not even safe to work out without bringing the muscles back to their resting line. Okay, next we're going to work the obliques, the side of the body. And let's do this with no weights. And we're going to make sure to stretch long through from the hip to the underarm. So start with the knees bent, tailbone kind of pointing down, and up and down. So lift the elbow high and reach. Bending one knee and then relaxing it. Lifting the elbow and reaching. Change. Up. Up. few more. Now we're going to change overhead so it's down. Reach. Push out with the rib cage. Other side and reach. You're sort of caving in on one side and expanding on the other. Front and all the way to the side. All the way to the side. Keep the shoulders down. And with the arms extended, just two to each side, push the rib cage over your center, over your waistline, down. And two, two. As we did, lift. And change. You have to make the movement big, exaggerated, so um, you're really going through that range of motion. Again, up. Lift the elbow higher. And change. Overhead and in. And change, reach with the elbow. Okay, let's take it right to the side and for two. Two. Let's do single, single. Okay, now let's place the hands inside the knees and stretch.